face. <sighs> oh, a leg. Okay, side rail. I think that's the head. You think this is the head? Mm -hmm. So I probably have it right. Just based on the picture on the box behind you. Okay. Okay. But is it going up like this? They look like they lay flat. Like they lay flat? You gotta look at the picture behind you. Oh, you're right. So they lay like this. It lays yeah. like this. And this lays like this. Except for this, all I can see now. Did you know you could pay $337 and they will assemble it? <laughs> but I want to save the money and show people they can do it. <laughs>
Wait. What? Ooh, pretty, 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 pretty. This could be a hard one person job. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna have to both pick it up. Oh, what? You can't do this on your own? We have been working on this, my friend and I, for over two hours now. I think about three hours. And they don't tell you on the weird instructions that you need this. You need a Phillips head. So that is, this is like a puzzle and it's very complicated. It shouldn't be so complicated. The instructions are just terrible. So now all we have left to do is to put these slats in and then we're done. And I think it's a gorgeous, but is it easy to assemble? No. You can actually pay them to assemble it for you. It's like $300, it's over $300. And I'm starting to think it might be worth it. But then I'm like, wait, if it took me three hours, I, it's still a hundred bucks an hour I'm savings. And I'm proud of myself and, and also Marissa for doing it. But yeah, it's not a fast project, so warning. It's beautiful, but it's taking some time. These are extra and we were short two washers, so we had to go to the hardware store and buy them for these screws like this. So these only need like the little washer. Okay, so now we're gonna do the center beam. Okay, so we gotta use this, and it goes in the center, I imagine. And then, something up like this. Okay, I probably need the Phillips. I'm not, wait, the Allen. There's Allen and Phillip, <laughs> and they are friends, I think, but they're kind of, a, they're similar but different. One is a star and one's a hexagon. So if you're like me and you're tool challenged, you gotta keep, you gotta keep your Allen's and your Phillips straight. Okay, so basically we just have to attach these supports at three places on this, this uh, center. This one's longer. Actually, people don't care about this kind of detail. Just shut up. Because <laughs> it looked like they're all points coming oh, together. Oh, yep. That's exactly what you were supposed to do. <laughs> it's getting a little punchy here because we've been working on this for so long. And we've had multiple trips to, we had a trip home, a trip to the hardware store. And now, hopefully Beautiful, that's it. beautiful bed frame. Yeah, just complicated. Very complicated. Maybe. Don't do this at home unless you have hours. Yeah, it's not going to be like, oh, I'm going to go to bed and I need to put this together. And you like puzzles with no instructions. Yeah, it is like a big puzzle. Well, with yeah. very poor instructions. Yeah, they're almost useless. Okay, this is uh, complicated. So, this one. Thanks for kid. <laughs> I'm like, what happened? And now uh, I'm maimed. <laughs> uh, these are not going anywhere. You know how they have the kind that have Velcro to hold these together? Well, this is not Velcro together. This is screwed together. But now what do we do? We get the drill. We get the drill out. We have to drill new holes now. And these 
And we have to figure out how to space them. I don't know how far apart these are supposed to be. Does it tell us anywhere? We're gonna try to figure this out with our mathematical skills. Okay, I'm gonna think, maybe it's like, you know, it's really good to have them closer together because then it can support more weight and it's better for the mattress. I'm kind of blocking myself in here. So we have yeah, you should one, two, three, four. So it looks like we have more than four, probably five. Five or six. I'm just getting them up here and then we can get it out. <laughs> okay. Ah! Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six we have six. Okay, so now we gotta like that make them. Yeah, that one's defective. They like trying to fix that. Oh crap. Put okay. it in, put it next to this one. Okay, so we gotta space these out. Where's this one? Oh wow, what is that? What is that? Uh, it's not even. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. What? Fourteen. Well, that's strange. Okay, well, let's... Let's put more on this side because your head was there. Okay, we can't need that one. This one. Okay, that looks pretty even. Okay, now we have... Oh, sorry. The OCD is good. No, the OCD is good because this is like permanent. Or this is not easily to replace and remove, so it's good. Okay. Do a little bit of trimming if you want to be the drill master. <laughs> Wait, what are you gonna do? We gotta drill those like black screws in all the slats. With that, <laughs> the fun. Okay, so I'm gonna do this. You guys, um, if you if this is a frame that doesn't come apart easily, I mean, if you, we're gonna actually drill in these pieces, they're gonna be drilled so that you can't easily remove it. So it's a commitment. 